All right, time for a uh, for a public service announcement here for all you bass raider and pond prowler and other plastic boat people. Um, one of the first mods everybody does these, myself included, is uh, puts a scupper plug in. That way, if the thing gets water in it sitting outside or while you're out, uh, you can typically you know pull the plug and it drains. Everybody does it. I um, like. A lot of people, every time I get done with the boat, I pull my pull my plugs out of the pontoon, <clears throat> and uh, while I'm unloading it, the front end is way up in the air, and it's a good time to check and see if there's any water in there. Typically, there's less than a mouthful in each pontoon, which I just chalk up to condensation, or really... I don't even care where it comes from because it's a mouthful over three, four hours of being on the water and I can live with that. Once, however, came home and pulled the plugs and uh, got a couple gallons of water out of it with no explanation as to why. Well, I take that back. The explanation I chalked it up to was I use these little, you know, flip-up plugs everybody uses and... Um, <clears throat> the day that happened, I was pulling my anchor up. I always pull my anchor up right in this corner. And it had about 200 pounds of weeds and shit on it. And I was dicking around back here trying to knock all the weeds off. And I had convinced myself that I popped this loose. Which, when I loaded it up, pulled out of the water, this was popped loose. So, that's what I chalked that up to. Well, today, wife and I were out on the water. And I about submarined the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, <clears throat> out on the water for probably two and a half hours and uh, noted, noted it listing badly to one side. And usually it does a tiny bit because I have my chair offset. I sit a little more to the left and then I put the battery on the right to kind of offset it. And it sits pretty level, but noticed it was uh, a little more off than usual. Well, within the course of about... Uh, 20 minutes I had water all the way up to the rub rail and uh, pretty much barging white waves over the over the bow of the boat and I'm um, probably three quarters a little more from the launch so I uh, grab a fistful of motor which you know sounds impressive but realistically you know it's that so 65 pounds of fury and I haul ass towards the dock, hugging the shoreline, keeping about 10 feet off the shoreline. Figure if I had to make a last ditch effort, I would uh, just ditch it over in the weeds and figure it out from there. So I get home tonight and uh, it's eating me alive where this water's coming from. And I check my plugs and I got a little chafing on them, but surely nothing that would fill the pontoons. One totally full, second one three quarters full. Um, so much so that I made a mock little testing device here for my plugs. And yeah, you apply enough vacuum to them, they leak a little bit. But again, it would take hours and hours and hours to get a glass full of water the way they're leaking. So I started poking around and there's only so many ways water can get in the hull. I know the water's not over my rub rail when we're out. Yes, I overload this thing. But typically my water line is down here by the top rib, so that gives me a good four or five inches to, to even to where the seam is at. So it's not coming through the seam. And then I check my scupper plug. And that's what I find. Upper half in the boat, lower half in the bottom hull. And they were sitting, oh, probably with a quarter inch gap in there, letting the water just flood right into the bottom. Just flood the hulls. <laughs> Um, so that's my, uh, that's my water leak that almost submarine the bath raider today. So if you're using these, uh, I don't recall whose this was, it was on, uh, whatever was the first on Amazon that had a bunch of good reviews. I don't know if it was an Atwood or whoever it was. I don't think there's a name on it here. These are all coming on a slow boat from China, probably from the same place. Um, I don't know if I'm going to order another one or if I'm just going to put a bulkhead fitting in for, I, I do a bunch of aquarium stuff and I run bulkhead fittings all the time and it's the same thing except for it's black and I've never had one break in half. Um, 
So if you've got a uh, mysterious water leak that you just can't figure out where it's coming from, and you've put in a scupper plug, you may want to check it. Because uh, it didn't take long with that quarter inch gap to, like I said, about submarine this thing today. But, no harm, no foul. Found the problem. Did cut my fishing short by an hour or two. But uh, didn't have to swim. So that's a plus. Alright, that's all for tonight. Later.